Well, hello. Here we have a Magneto Speed V2 and a Magneto Speed V3. I'm just going to walk you through some of the differences between the older V2 model and the new V3 model. Well, as you can see, the box itself is a little different. So if you're looking to pick up one of these used and you happen to see one, um, here's the old logo on the old box, and the new box is just a big M, big red M. All right, if we open both these up, um, there's a couple key differences between the two units. Um, here's the old Magneto Speed V2 display unit. It actually has a really nice feature, which is that you can adjust the, the, the display angle. So when you sit it down, you can adjust how it, uh, the angle at which it displays, just depending on what you're doing when you're shooting. That's actually kind of a nice feature they did away with in the V3. Um, the V3 is actually display units much smaller and has a cutout at the base that lets you set it down and it always sort of sits at one angle. Um, so um, that's the difference, uh, but much smaller. Uh, one of the key differences between the two of them is that Magneto Speed went in the V3 with a, uh, an easily replaceable battery. So you can just simply pop the back off, change out the 9 volt battery. Um, in the field really easily without any kind of tools. That's a really kind of nice feature though uh, on my V2 here I don't really I haven't really ever had to replace the batteries um, and I use it fairly frequently but there's two Phillips head screws in here that you use to take off the cover and replace the batteries so you'd need a Phillips head screwdriver to replace that. Uh, one of the other key features that I know a lot of people had issues with in the V2 uh, is that the V2 has a toggle switch here and you use that toggle switch once your um, unit is on and you t turn it on by inserting the jack. Um, the unit comes on, um, you know, of course it says the bayo is not connected right now. Um, here we go. Right. So anyways, I have a, a number of, uh, a bunch of data in here. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and connect the bayonet. And uh, there we have the unit. We have a, the toggle switch up here that is a rocker switch. Um, in this case, this has a tendency to break. It's a very small piece. I'll sort of hold it up there. This is kind of the, the rocker switch. Uh, I'm not sure you can really see it. It's very small and narrow, and it fits in here, and it has a tendency to snap off. Uh, Magneto Speed, when they revamped it, went with a much better set of... Uh, of kind of um, push button switches here, which is way nicer, much more durable, won't won't break. Um, that's a really nice feature that they they replaced it with. Okay, if we take a look at the bayonets, you can see that there's a couple of differences just visually in the bayonets. The old bayonets uh, has is all plastic, or you know the majority of the body is plastic fiberglass. Uh, the new one's been beefed up. They, they put this blast shield here to help protect the bayonet as you're, it's not not from getting, being shot, but from the um, exhaust gases. It, they could tend to, in a, over the long term, erode this part of the plastic. Um, I've shot quite a few rounds across this one, haven't had any problems, so for me it's not an issue. Um, the, the cutout also, if you can kind of see them, is a little bit longer in the, um, in the V3's bayonet. Um, uh, not by much actually. Um, then uh, also the they did revamp the the way the straps cinch down. So this is uh, the V2, but it's the the newer strap on the V2. You can see it has a, a a bottom thumb screw here for for tightening down the final amount. And then on the flip side, it's actually got a pull strap. So you would take these both these straps. Put the barrel through here, cinch the strap down, and then tighten the base to, to get a final tightened solution. Um, that's the uh, the uh, original V2, or the, the newest, the modified V2, which has the aluminum buckle. The original ones had a plastic buckle here, and that tended to break, so they replaced it with this aluminum anodized red buckle. The V3 actually has a new buckle system as well, and it makes it quite a lot more simple. It's just, just a single strap that goes over the barrel. You pull through to tighten it, which is a lot faster, and then you simply rotate this um, to get a final tightened solution down. So you 
tighten down this thumb screw and that will give you your final um, amount of tight, uh, tightness. Uh, another thing that people have been asking for was for the bayonet to have um, two positions, particularly if you're running the bayonet right near the end of your, say, your hand guard on an AR or something. There's a there's a a um, a plug here to connect it to the display device. I don't know if you can see that small plug there. Um, I would plug in here, and you would connect the other into your your display unit. Uh, on the on the V2, there's only one. It's at the back. On the V3, there's actually two locations, so you can actually plug in your bayonet, so that I mean your bayonet into the display unit from the bottom, which allows you to use all this space to to place this on your barrel and next to the handguard. Uh, 